Well, I, I mean, I certainly read a little bit about him, and uh, I had reports from others in, in the team that I've met him and, and felt that he was really an exceptional young man, and quite frankly, yeah, I believe he is. He, is, um, he, he certainly met, met us with open arms, and I think I have to say that the whole people of Lithuania have, and uh, certainly the team here, they, they've been extremely accommodating, allowing us to come into their environment and infiltrate it to some degree, and, and certainly um, spend some time with their star player. He was very accommodating himself. In first opinion, he's a really nice guy. We talk with him a lot this evening, and I think he's gonna help me a lot with the physical condition. We're gonna see tomorrow the drills, everything, what he's doing, and I think he's gonna help me a lot. And I simply asked him, man, you know, you know, what does he want out of it? You know, um, what can he do to improve? And you know, some of the things he, his response was, was as, I, as I would expect, without you know, disclosing anything. He wants to get stronger and, and quicker, and, and in five years wants to be a um, play a dominant role in the NBA. And you know, that's his five-year plan, and which I see as laying the plan out is, a, is a, an extremely wise thing to do as a young man. And I think um, he's got his mindset on doing that. Um, we talked about diet, we talked about the importance of, um, of, of having um, a fairly balanced lifestyle, the importance of rest and recovery, we talked about um, you know, the trials and tribulations of travel in the NBA and you know, what it takes to, to succeed. And uh, so really that's really what it was about and I let him ask him some questions, ask me some questions about it and, you know, and, and really, so we, we, and as a result of that we, you know, we'll take a look at his diet, we'll take a look at at, you know his the things that, that we can offer for him that perhaps he, he doesn't have here and perhaps he hasn't thought about this what he's doing is the really new things for me we talk about everything about about NBA about Toronto about about how to build development so uh, I think I'm really excited about it joking the Vilnius is Mauritius town now <laughs> so he's helping me a lot so prepare for the game we're talking a lot he's he's helping me to change the game style change the change the conversation with the coach he's give me a lot of new things he is he is a young man that's very, very excited about coming to the NBA, and particularly coming to Toronto. He's very excited about uh, the opportunity that he has, and he, he's prepared to do whatever it takes to succeed. And I, I see that in him, and, and uh, I think that I think we have high hopes for him. There's no question, and I, I do believe he's got every opportunity to succeed. He's LeBron here. I mean, pretty much. I mean, everywhere he goes, everybody talks to him. Everybody wants pictures. Everybody wants autographs. But he's just a, a really down-to-earth kid. First of all, Jonas is 19 years old, and, and and if you look at him, his upper body hasn't quite caught up to his lower half at this point. So you know, he's got a lot of growing to do. As a team, and me as a coach, head coach of that team, I know Jonas is going, and we know where he's going. That's Toronto Raptors. So all of a sudden, like, th that's triangle between, you know, Toronto, Ritas, and Jonas, and everybody's trying to do their own, do their part of the job to make the, the this year as good as possible. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. This program is gonna go, it's not on his shoulder. You know, the spotlight is on him, yes, but whether we win or lose, it's not gonna be t totally upon his shoulders to, to carry us there.